Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your Vashev at Vareva.com. Today, you know, a lot of people have been requesting me to make paneer butter masala. You know, I have made butter chicken. Uh, if you add paneer to the same gravy, it becomes classical uh, paneer butter masala. But a lot of you people have been writing to me, telling me how busy your schedule is and you want to cook something really, really fast. You know, Vashev is going to teach you certain things which you can cook these classical dishes in just few minutes. But remember, the best way to cook is using the fresh ingredients with all those uh, masala spices, that's when you get the real flavor. But I also will teach you a lot of shortcut cooking. You know, I'm going to start this new series where we're going to learn a lot of microwave cooking and the classical dishes which you can cook in just three minutes. So this will be my gift to you all for the new year 2008. So, Today I'm going to show you this beautiful paneer butter masala which you can cook in few minutes and your guest will be surprised. To make this dish, get a bowl and add one full teaspoon of coriander powder, quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, quarter teaspoon of uh, chili powder, add quarter teaspoon of kasturi methi powder, one teaspoon of uh, tomato ketchup, one teaspoon full of uh, tomato paste. If you have tomato puree, you can add up to two and a half uh, teaspoons of uh, tomato puree. So add little bit milk and mix it. And add and keep mixing it. Add the entire milk. Okay. You can also add some tomato color, but if you want to add it at the end, you know, after you finish the dish, that is a better way to add. Heat the pan and add a little bit butter. You don't need to add oil because uh, we are going to make uh, this beautiful paneer butter masala and we don't have any onions that we need to cook. But we are going to add some fried onion to this preparation. So just add a little bit of uh, butter. Just uh, melt the butter, add ginger garlic paste. Okay. So we have not added ginger garlic paste with the entire mixture because you want your ginger garlic paste to be cooked and uh, get this raw flavor out, especially because you are going to cook really quick version. And now, if you want to add, you can add some fried onions. See, you can buy even fried onions in the market nowadays, they are available. Just take one tablespoon of onion. If you want, you can just crush it like this with your hand and just add into this mixture. So that way, you know, we are eliminating adding onions and cooking for a long time. In the market, you can also buy this uh, fried onion that is readily available. Keep it handy and you can, a lot of times you can process your dishes very, very fast. Okay. Now, get this mixture with all these uh, ingredients and add to this. After you add this mixture into this container, please cover it up and simmer it and let it cook for 3 minutes you know, on the slow flame because you want all these ingredients to get cooked. All your ingredients are raw in this and let it simmer for 3-4 minutes and you can add your paneer and your dish will be ready in no time. Little bit of salt. Okay, whenever you are trying to cook this 2 minute cooking with washer, always try to use non-stick pan because that eliminates a lot of burning and scraping. Now, you can see this, all these ingredients are very well cooked and you can see this uh, slightly butter is oozing out from this mixture. See, the gravy is now ready. So, you can add some milk to it and slightly thin the sauce, okay? So, but remember one thing, add little by little and mix it immediately because this is very acidic and you don't want your milk to curdle. By adding milk like this, you can avoid adding cream, okay? Add your paneer now. See, a lot of people ask me, Chef, you know, do we fry paneer or not? See, it's up to you. A lot of times in a lot of places, they used to fry paneer, especially if it is a day or two old. But if you have fresh paneer, you can just add it directly and uh, it will be perfect. So, after you add the paneer, just bring it to a nice boil and your dish will be ready. If you add the right amount of spices and cook it to the right consistency, I can bet my life 
nobody will be able to make out whether you made it with the fresh ingredients and all that or whether you used quick recipe look at this beautiful paneer butter masala okay wow okay so this is a very easy paneer butter masala <laughs> See, sometimes I feel really sad because look at this dish. I cooked in three minutes, and this actually tastes better than what I made with my fresh ingredients. But this may taste very, very tasty to my mouth, but to my body, I always prefer fresh ingredients, and uh, that's how I am. And I hope uh, you have enjoyed learning this really three-minute version of paneer butter masala. And if you want to be generous enough, we have. a small section called thank you from where you can donate to whatever.com and let me assure you that every penny of that donation will be used to improvise the website and this show so at the last do not forget remember that whatever is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking thank you wow